Hi, I'm Phil Hansen. I'm the acoustic guitar teacher here at uh, Northwest Guitar. I teach uh, various styles. Uh, my favorite is to teach finger style, and that's what I'm going to give you the basics of uh, at this particular point. Contemporary American finger style being different from classical. Classical uh, has specific rules that it has to follow. Usually it's melodies and harmonies. doesn't pay as much attention to chords. Although they play chords, they're not usually listed as such. Uh, in contemporary American finger style, it started with the pattern picking, which is to play a sequence of strings over and over again as you play a chord progression. This is a 4-4 pattern, which means it's got four bass notes and a measure. There's lots of 4-4 patterns. Cut time pattern has two bass notes and a measure. To this we can add walking bass runs. When you get to Travis picking, Travis picking again was a patterned style playing, uh, named after Merle Travis, although he didn't make it up. It, it, it goes way back farther than that. But the idea is that you're going to play this alternating bass with a pattern. Because of the way that it worked, it was really easy to add melodies. Okay, so that you could play. Um, walking bass run. I'm just making something up here, but nonetheless, that's how Travis playing worked. When they started to add fiddle tunes to the idea, they took an idea where you had still had that alternating bass, and you played a melody across the top. Save this one. Okay, so that's a that's a, a, a fiddle tune called Boatman, at least the beginning of it. Uh, we can actually add get into some English styles. What's happening here is I've got a walking bass run and I'm playing. This is called Angie. You might remember Paul Simon did it. Okay. When you got to the blues styles, what they did was they still took this alternating bass. Now, this is where it all originated from. It didn't, I'm not doing this in particular order, but the blues would take this same idea and play a blues style melody over it. This is John Hurt. Okay. Uh, they started to add swing to it in the 1980s, the 1960s. Uh, Eric Schoenberg and Dave Leibman came up with playing ragtime. And what happened in ragtime was that they took ragtime piano ideas put it across the chord progressions that a guitar player would use, adds a few classical techniques and walking bass runs to come up with full pieces that sounded pretty cool. That has all of the components going on. In the 1980s, uh, that's where I really became aware of playing swing music, playing in uh, in a rag t or uh, in fingerstyle. That type of a thing. Uh, so then, all of these styles can be actually combined, come up with pop stuff. Uh, you can play Beatles tunes. You can play. Uh, I've heard Beach Boys done on fingerstyle guitar. All of this is really fun, and uh, and you can be by yourself and play pieces that sound like complete pieces.